Kim Jong-un appears to have ramped up his capability to deliver his deadliest weapons, and tonight is drawing a stern warning from President Trump about threatening the U.S. They will be met with fire, fury, and frankly, power, the likes of which this world has never seen before. U.S. intelligence officials have assessed that North Korea has produced a miniaturized nuclear warhead that can fit inside its missiles, including its long-range ICBMs that could reach the United States. That's according to multiple sources familiar with the analysis of Kim's missile and nuclear program. Though one source tells CNN this is not a consensus view by the entire intelligence community. Because of the North Korean progress, Hawaii, Alaska, uh, Washington State, Oregon, California, are all now threatened directly by the progress that UN and the North Koreans have made. A missile expert explains where that miniaturized warhead would go and how it would work. Within this nose cone or shroud uh, would be the warhead. That would, you know, goes up into space, separates, comes back down, and a uh, kind of pointed object is going to enter the atmosphere very, very fast. Sources tell CNN it is not believed the warhead capability has been tested. And there's another key question tonight about the missiles that would deliver it. It's unclear that that reentry vehicle that would hold the warhead would survive uh, coming back into the atmosphere and reaching the target. For a warhead to reach its target, it has to re-enter the atmosphere from space at very high speed, so the engineers need to protect it from extreme heat. North Korea has already been testing heat shields that protect the warhead during its fiery re-entry. President Trump's national security advisor, H.R. McMaster, recently said the possibility that North Korea could possess nuclear weapons capable of reaching America would be, quote, intolerable and could lead to a U.S. military response. What could that response be? One of the options is to use military weapons, precision strike weapons, to take these weapons out, both in their, their hide sites, uh, the deep underground facilities, as well as, as they're being mounted to the weapon themselves. Uh, these are all throughout North Korea. We do know where a lot of them are. But that option comes with a warning tonight about how Kim Jong-un could strike back. Because we have Seoul right on the border within direct artillery range, one of the very likely retaliations would be a launch of weapons, direct artillery art, uh, weapons against Seoul. That, uh, the Seoul, for example, is a hostage city.